Now, we will find right now the position of images formed by concave and convex mirrors when object is placed before the mirror. Okay? Now, we will see. In case of concave mirror, we will see first and then we will see for the convex mirror. Okay? We will see the following thing. You see, one object is placed here. Let us consider the focus of this concave mirror to be at this particular point. Center of curvature is this one. Now, whenever the object is placed at infinity, then from infinity, whatever the rays are coming, they are coming parallel. Okay? Because we know that all the parallel lines meet at infinity. So, from infinity, whatever the rays are coming, they are coming parallel. When these parallel rays come, it is parallel to the principal axis and they are meant to focus at one particular point. Then what we see? We see the image of that object which is placed at infinity. Its image is formed at the focus. So, object may be very big, but the image is highly diminished, just a point image. That's why, whenever we consider the this is concave mirror, you see, first, what we are going to consider is the position of object. What is the position of object? Infinity and image position. Where is the image? At the focus. Magnification Whether enlarged or diminished? Diminished Diminished Highly diminished Nietzsche It is inverted It is inverted, it is real because it is obtained, it can be obtained on the screen. All the real images are those which can be obtained on the screen. Here it is obtained on the it can be obtained on the screen. That's why the, the nature nature is real and inverted. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So, we are, we are just imagining that situation and you see, once again, I am just drawing this here. This is the parallel ray. After, these are the parallel rays. After reflection, they pass from one particular point and at this particular point, the image is formed. The image is highly diminished. And it's, it is real and it is inverted. Okay? Now, we will consider the next point. Next position. What will be the next position? You see, the object will be just beyond C. Means, it is in between C and power point. Wherever the power point is there. Right now, we have told you the infinity. So, wherever the object is placed beyond C, this is the center of curvature C, this is F. When the object is placed 
let this be the object okay and you see how the image is formed we consider once again the parallel ray parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it will pass through the focus focus so it is passing through the focus once again okay and we must know that the path of the light is retrasable it means whenever the light ray passes through the focus it will emerge out as parallel to the principal axis okay so you see we are considering the another ray this is the ray and it strikes here after reflection it becomes parallel to the it becomes parallel to the principal axis and these two rays meet at this particular point and this particular point will be the object image okay. so this was the center of curvature c this is f so this is the image point it is the object and this is the image point now you see how to write about the position of object and all other things just to see so what is the position of object beyond c what we will write here beyond you also write it is beyond c image position between just tell me between f and C. Okay, between focus and center of curvature. So we will write here between F and C. Magnification. Just to please tell me, it is the size of the object, and it is the size of the image. It is reduced or enlarged. Reduced. It is reduced. So magnification is diminished. Once again. The image is real and inverted. That's why nature will remain same, real and inverted. Okay. Now, what will the next position? Next position is that when we place the object on the center of curvature. That is, when the object is at the center of curvature, then in that situation, what will the position, nature, magnification? of the image we will see right you see this is point c this is f we have already shown you there the relation between f and r that is focal length and radius of curvature the radius of curvature we have already considered R is equal to 2f. Okay, where R is the radius of curvature. Keeping this in mind, we just place the scale in such a way that this portion and this portion both are equal to each other. That is, Pf is equal to Fc. Now, you see, C is the center of curvature, and at this particular point, the object is there. Let us consider the rays. They are parallel to the principal axis after reflection it passes through the focus focus okay yes, another ray from here if you consider this to be the incident ray then after reflection it passes parallel to the principal ray it it moves parallel to the principal, principal axis the image is formed here basically the image should be there on the c so here you see whenever we consider it 
this becomes the image. image. If you will draw the things with proper scale, you will get the things at accurately at this particular point C. This was just the rough diagram and so on. So, you see, this is the object. object size, this is the image size. So, it is there in front of the mirror only. It can be obtained on the screen. So, here, position of the object. What should be the position of the object? It is the center of the image. That is? at C okay yes. image position between no between C. on C only that is at C magnification so, it is of you see this size and this size size remains the same yes sir so magnification equal equal magnification equal magnification that is magnification is one Okay, nature once again real and inverted. That's why we have considered this to be the 